All right, what the fuck is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah Hills. You can catch me on Twitter at Noah More Parties. And we're back today, this week, with another uh, Thursday Night Football prize picks, 5x5, five five, flex play, parlay, all the keywords you need. Uh, we have five uh, prop bet lines here. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, last week we went 3-2. and two. I believe that was our first time going 3-2 and two this season. Usually it's kind of all or nothing. But uh, the first line I like this week is Derrick Henry's rushing yards line. It's at 99.5 yards. I like the over. Derrick Henry is averaging 102.6 rushing yards per game this season. He's hit this over in five of nine games, including five of his last six. He didn't hit it last week, but before that, he had hit it five weeks in a row. And the Packers give up the third most rushing yards per game to running backs, as well as the third fewest passing yards overall. So this is a run funnel defense against Derrick Henry on a team that wants to run the ball. He's a beast. I would imagine he can get 100 rushing yards against one of the worst rushing defenses in the NFL on a Thursday night. The next line I like is Alan Lazard's receiving yards line of 48.5. I like the over. He's averaging 59 receiving yards per game this season and has hit this over in half of his games, but in three of the last four. And the only of those four games when he didn't hit it was last week when he had 45 yards. So he missed it by like four yards last week. Before that, he'd hit it three times in a row. The Titans give up the fifth most receiving yards to wide receivers per game in the league. Lazard is the Packers wide receiver one. 49 yards is 10 less than his average for the season. I think he can have a below average game still hit this, and I don't know why he would have a below average game since the Titans are not a bad defense, or the Titans aren't a very good pass defense. So... Alan Lazard, I like the over here. The next line I like is Ryan Tannehill, 0.5 interceptions thrown. I like the under. Tannehill has thrown three picks in seven games this year and has thrown zero picks since week three. The Titans run the second fewest plays total per game, and they call the third fewest passes total per game. So they don't want to throw the ball. They don't even want to be on offense at all. They an incredibly slow pace of play. And Tannehill is bottom seven in the league in air yards, in danger plays, in interceptable passes, all of those per playerprofiler.com. Like, he's just a dink and dunk game manager quarterback on a team that doesn't want to run plays and doesn't want to throw the ball. So the odds that he throws a pick on any given day are fairly low. Uh, the next line I like is an interesting one available on prize picks this week is Austin Hooper plus Robert Woods plus Robert Tunyon, 0.5 touchdowns combined. And I like the under. Those three players, Austin Hooper, Robert Woods, Robert Tunyon, have scored a combined two touchdowns in a combined 28 games this season, and they have combined for zero touchdowns since week four. And, like, Robert Tunyon is, you know, a one of the main passing weapons for Green Bay. Austin Hooper, Robert Woods, both starting players. Austin Hooper's been, you know, relatively productive lately. Robert Woods hasn't done shit since, like, week five. Like, as far as scoring touchdowns goes, like, neither of these, none of these guys are, like, downfield threats. So if they're going to score, it's going to be because their team is, like, close to the end zone. But these guys are averaging a combined 0.46 red zone targets per game. They'll be lucky to combine for a single red zone target on Thursday night football. I like their under on total touchdowns. And the last line I like in this 5x5 five five is Mason Crosby, 6.5 kicking points. Not fantasy points, but IRL kicking points. He's averaging 5.1 points per game this season. He's hit this over in just four out of 10 games and only once in his last five games. He's actually hitting only 76.9% of his field goals this season and is hitting a combined 74.5% of his field goals in the last two seasons, like going back to 2021. And the Titans are bottom eight in field goals attempted against them and are bottom four in extra points attempted against them. So teams aren't seeing many kicking opportunities against the Titans. Mason Cross Crosby isn't hitting very many of his kicks, and he's not scoring very many points. So I, I things are lining up for him to not hit this line this week. Uh, so that's the 5x5. Five five. I have no uh, honorable mentions. I kind of like Woods to go under his line. I like Hooper to go over his line. I like Tunyon to go over. These are receiving yards line. I like Tunyon to go over his receiving yards line, but I don't think you can place a bet with those guys involved with the touchdown bet as well. So blah, blah, blah. No honorable mentions this week. Those are the five I like. Derrick Henry over rushing yards. Alan Lazard over receiving yards. Tannehill under picks. Hooper Woods, Tunyon under touchdowns. Crosby under kicking points. Hopefully we go five by five. 10x our money tonight. See you next week. Peace.
Wow.